Hi, this is Dave Yance. I'm with the Heating Refrigeration Program here at the Kansas City, Kansas Community College Technical Education Center. We're going to talk about the four components of an air conditioning system that's going to transfer the heat from one area to the other area that we had talked about the other day. So here we have a, this would be a window air conditioner. And the four components of every air conditioner system are an evaporator, a condenser, the compressor, and a metering device. So let's take a look at those four components. The evaporator is this coil here. This would be on the inside of the room we want to condition and the air is drawn in across this evaporator. The refrigerant is boiling inside that evaporator and that absorbs the heat out of the air into the evaporator and into the refrigerant. The refrigerant is pumped by means of a compressor motor, which is our number two component. This pumps the refrigerant through the evaporator out of the evaporator, it goes into the condenser coils. This is outside where the refrigerant is being pumped through these coils. As it cools, it gives off of that heat that it removed from inside the house. So we have transferred heat from inside the house to outside the house by means of three of the four components. Now, the fourth component is a metering device. And if you look at it, there's a very small hole right there in the center. This meters the amount of refrigerant going through into the evaporator. And that is how we create a low pressure side and a high pressure side in an air conditioning system. And that is our four components, the evaporator, the compressor, the condenser, and the metering device. Now we'll take a look at where those components are in your standard residential unit. Okay, now we're looking at a typical furnace that you would find in your house. That would be the furnace component here. On top, this is going to be the evaporator from the air conditioner. So if I remove this panel here, you can see this is the evaporator coil. What's going to happen is when you turn your air conditioner on, the blower in your furnace pulls the air out of the house through the return. It goes up through the evaporator and is blown out and up into the ductwork of the house. The refrigerant is pumped into this evaporator, goes through these coils, and the refrigerant boils, and this is where the heat is absorbed out of the air to be transferred to the outside. The metering device that we talked about here is inserted in this line right here. Okay, now we're outside and we're going to look at the other two components in that system. This is called a condensing unit. This is our condenser coil, runs all the way around the unit, and there's copper lines in there. The compressor motor sits down inside the center of this unit and it pumps the refrigerant through this condenser coil where it cools and gives off the heat that it removed from inside on the evaporator coil. So once again, we have removed the heat from inside, transferred it outside, and dumped it out here where we don't care about the heat. And so thusly, those four components, the compressor, the condenser coil, the evaporator, and the metering device or the four major components to all air conditioners and most refrigeration equipment.